Well, it's that time of year. Fruit flies, drain flies, even though you can get them any time of the year, but because of the abundance of fresh fruit and veggies, all, all of a sudden there actually are flying around right in here. You can actually, uh, this is when they seem to, to bother everyone. So you think, well, what, there goes another one. This could be fun. That's all I'm going to do, just sw swing at them. All right, so where can they be? The obvious is fruit and vegetables. Any, anytime over ripened fruit or veggies are sitting around, they can actually lay their eggs right there and they lay a ton of eggs. I mean a ton and in seven days. How about that? Figure that out and you can see you can have a problem. Well, the other, the other thing is in the drain and down in the drain, you can either have fruit flies or drain flies and you might think, well, what's the difference? It's like to, to us, really nothing. They're both annoying, but you can actually see um, there, there's some differences in the drain fly is, is kind of a mostly black, sometimes brown, where the, uh, the other fly, the fruit fly, is more of a tannish looking and has red eyes. All right, so what do you do? First of all, you got to take care of the drains. You get rid of any fruit that is sitting around that is, that is over ripened. Putting it in the fridge, fridge can help. But as far as the drain goes, and, it's, and it's, it's not a bad thing to get rid of because that organic matter that builds up inside the drain, that's where they can lay their eggs, especially obviously the drain flies. But of course, people not missing an opportunity, you can see now they actually have fruit fly killer for drains that contain citronella. So those, if you're just after the, the drain flies, this is a thick, and you do this at night, and you just kind of, you hope it coats the side put about eight ounces per drain per side. But the thing I think I would, and, and that might be better on an immediate type use. I think what I would like to do is to take care of that buildup. Now it's getting more prevalent. Drano, everybody has these buildup removers. This is the one I've kind of used forever. It's, uh, it's called Drain Defense. And it's a little cheaper on the uh, powder one. So you put one scoop per eight ounce or per uh, per pint so we're gonna and then the way i'm gonna do this i do it at night again because i don't want to run water on top of it follow the instruction i think you do run a little hot water on top and then you do that once a day for a week and then once a week for a month and then after that you do it monthly but if you can clean that up you're going to take care of some of those those areas now just the ones that are flying around, you see these fruit fly traps everywhere. And they're in the shape and they look like an apple. That way they confuse the fruit, fruit fly. They think that's an apple. So you put a little liquid in there and then they are drawn to that Get out of there. Now you might think, some people say, well, that's just vinegar. It's just vinegar. So you can actually just use vinegar as well. Put vinegar in a dish, put a little bit of soap in there so that they drown when they kind of breaks, uh, breaks the surface tension. You can cover it with plastic, pop some holes in it or just leave it open. But it is a problem and it's annoying, but you have to go after it and go after it before they become an issue. Fruit flies, drain flies, out.